Hello class, the purpose of this video is to take a look at uh, one of the challenge activities from module four. So it says housing prices in a small town are normally uh, distributed with a mean of 142,000 and a standard deviation of 9,000. Use the empirical rule to complete the following statement. So this is approximately 99.7% of, uh, of the housing prices are between Okay, so you have to ask yourself, how many standard deviations do we have to add and subtract to the mean price of a house? So, right, according to the rule, 99.7% of the data will fall within three standard deviations, right? And here's a picture of this, right? 68% of your um, uh, data will fall within one standard deviation, right? Plus or minus one standard deviation. 95% would fall within plus or minus this 34 plus 13.5. If you add all of this up, it's 95%. 68% uh, we said was between uh, one standard deviation, 95 would be two standard deviations, and 99.7 would be plus one, two, three standard deviations, and minus one, two, three standard deviations. So how do we do this? If I take out my calculator, and we take the, whoops, the 142, right, the 142,000 and subtract, right, 142, 142,000 minus three standard deviations. So that'd be minus three times the 9,000. Press enter. All right, so the lower price would be the 115,000. Right, so between a low price of 115,000 and the high price, right? So to get the high price, we have to add um, three standard deviations to our mean, right? And again, our mean was 142,000 plus three times the standard deviation. And that gives me 169, right? 169,000. We press check answer. And we get the yes, we got it correct, right? Plus three standard deviations, and then we subtract three standard deviations. Okay. So that was part one of this question. Let's see. Part two. Which of the following graphs correspond to the probability that a z score is between negative one and two? So z score. That means, think of the mean in the middle at zero. If I subtract one standard deviation, I'd be here at sigma. And if I were to add two standard deviations, that comes out to here. So I think this would be our answer. Let's check it. And we get the check mark, right? Prop three. Okay, so uh, use the empirical rule to figure out the probability. So remember, the probability is really just the area under the curve. So I believe this was 34% on each side here. Let's take a look, right, 34%. So that covers this middle piece, these middle two pieces, and then this last piece, right, it was 13.5, right? So if I had 34 plus 34 plus 13.5, let's do it over here. 34 plus 34 plus 13.5, right? And I'll sum that up. Where's my summation key? Here we go. Enter. So I'm thinking 81.5 would cover these three pieces. 81.5. And I check answer. And we get the check mark, right? So, so far that's looking pretty good. I think we have time for one more. Let's look at the next problem. A football coach finds that a player runs times for a 50 meter dash um, that, that are normally distributed. Okay. A new player runs a time with a Z score of negative 1.5. What does this result indicate? So the player's run time was, I guess, uh, less than the average, right? Because of the negative, right? It's one and a half standard deviations to the left of the average, right? So let's check our answer. And we get, yep, less than, right? One and a half standard deviations below the mean. Next. 
Okay, so it says a new employee at a company, new employees at a company are given a proficiency test. The test scores are approximately normally uh, distributed with a mean of 250 and a standard deviation of 30. Uh, a new employee scores 190 on the exam. What's the employee's Z score? And actually, it looks like they did it for us here. They gave us the answer. The answer's two or negative two, but let's see how they did it here. So this is the formula we're gonna use, right? Z equals um, X minus uh, mu divided by the standard deviation. So uh, we were given 190, so the X is 190. The mean was 250, so we replaced the mu with 250. And the standard deviation was given as 30. So when we do 190 minus 250 divided by 30, uh, we should get negative two, right? Just to make sure I'm not crazy. Right, 190 minus the 250 divided by 30. And we get negative two, right? So I put a negative two, I hit check, and it says done. This is our answer. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great week.